Okay, it's day 60 of this ginger germination experiment. So, you know, the foliage still looks mostly healthy. Although my current concern is that I underwatered by not watering for a month. And what's happened is, you know, my fear is I just pulled this uh, leaf coil, the newest leaf, out from the coil of the other leaf. And basically both of them look to be in dire shape. So that looks to be dying or dead. I don't think it can recover. You know, by the time you see a problem with plant development, you know, in my experience, you're always screwed. So I think this is a goner. Although this plant could be an interesting case study for regeneration. And that's just one leaf. I assume there are many, many leaves coming out of this uh, funnel of leaves, basically, that kind of functions as a stem. But overall, I would say things are still going very well. You know, just because there's a little bit of yellowing and uh, I didn't water on time doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You know, these plants are still in great shape in general, I would say. As far as the watering goes, you know, you just saw a fungus snack go in there. So I'm sure they're trying to get some water in there. I think I see a drowned fungus snack. If you look in the very center of the screen, um, on top of the water, so I guess the water does have its uses. I mean, people complain about fungus gnats drowning in their cups of water that they keep by their nightstand or whatever. I keep mine, you know, on a kitchen counter, so that hasn't happened to me in ages and ages, uh, many for many years. But uh, yeah, let me shake this. Okay, so the water level is still pretty high, so I filled this up a second time. And although it still went down by, I don't know, a centimeter and a half, I think the bowl might be saturated for now. So I think we're in good shape. Okay, it's day 64 of this ginger germination experiment. So it's in the mid-afternoon sun right now. And, you know, it still doesn't get all that much sun due to the angle of... Uh, this balcony window relative to the sun you know it is uh, more west facing but you know you really don't get sun until the afternoon and you know one thing I noticed is there's this sort of creepy little sinkhole there I watered a lot through the bottom tray of this plant spa and basically I guess that wets the sand to some degree and then when it dries out in my cave in in spots so the sand needs to be touched up every once in a while and the reason I need to patch up these holes is I don't want uh, fungus gnats getting in so basically I'll use this old you know camera brush I had and that solves the problem so elsewhere you know there's barely any bumpiness you know like, it's just cosmetic really the sand by and large is dry enough so it's not really that much touching up I need to do. There's still plenty of water in there so that was the second time I filled up the tray. Um, the water level hasn't declined all that much. You, know, you can see well fungus gnat was just on there. I think I'm just gonna have to spray insecticide into the water in the bottom uh, you know some of that bare advanced you know it's a few years old I don't know if it's expired or if that kind of stuff has a half-life at all of a few years I don't remember seeing any labels that say it does expire at a certain date so I'm assuming it'll still be good if it's expired it pretty much won't do anything to any living thing around here but if it still works um, and I have it soaking in from the bottom over time maybe that could help uh, cure the fungus snap problem also there's a problem with just having sitting water with some organic detritus um, dirt uh, wood chips floating around in it over time that could be a breeding ground for insects as well so you just saw something bust by so a while ago I talked about ginger being kind of a slow poke plant it doesn't grow very fast and um, you know that still holds true uh, this is a new sprout and it's you know made this kink as they all seem to do but you know it's just taking a really long time for progress to occur likewise this shoot down here hasn't done 
all that much. I mean, it's just slowly growing. And if you look up here, you know, there's a kind of a part where one of the leaves uh, came out sort of yellow and dead. Now it's just brown and yellow, um, kind of like a banana peel. But anyway, that was probably during the phase at which, you know, this entire pot was under, in a state of drought. So I did two quick waterings. Um, and now that the water level is steady, I think, you know, the hydration situation is fine for these plants. But there's a new life. Um, but there's a new leaf curling out of this uh, plant at the top. So it kind of has to unsheathe itself from that old dead leaf, I guess, which is kind of wrapped around it. And that's why you see this interesting kind of loop structure. So there you have it. I have six ginger plants with more on the way, I'm sure. I mean, there are a lot more buds than just six. But, you know, this plant takes a long time to develop. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to spray some of that insecticide in the bottom tray and fill it up with water again. And, you know, I don't think this pot per se is actually the problem. I think that uh, potato plant pot is the bigger problem, along with maybe the honeydew. So if I spray all three pots, uh, hopefully this massive fungus gnat problem will go away because I'm just kind of going crazy with all these fungus gnats buzzing around me all, all the time. All right, I just took a few minutes to spray some Bear Advanced Insecticide in these uh, water trays of all three pots. And immediately I noticed, you know, a few fungus gnats just sort of fleeing that insecticide and crawling out of the hole. So I think with these plant spa pots, that's a weakness in the design. Basically, um, all sorts of flies and insects can hide and uh, find nourishment, shelter, and water in these plant spot trays. So by spraying insecticide in there, I'll have insecticide slowly soaking in and entering the soil, hopefully killing all fungus gnat larvae and all the fungus gnats uh, adults that seek refuge inside that tray should hopefully die or never come back and um, that should solve the problem after a few days. Okay, it's day 66 of this ginger germination experiment. So everything looks healthy. Um, there was a time when this was starving for water. I was kind of in an underwatering phase. Um, for the rest of my plant raising history, I was basically in an overwatering phase. So I kind of went the opposite way. But, you know, things have recovered. I'll get close ups, but there were one or two leaves that came out unhealthy sort of looking like they were dying they were yellow and turned brown later but i quickly rectified the situation by watering more and i reckon that i should water again so i'm in the process of cleaning the balcony i'm going to vacuum it and move some plants outside i don't think i'm going to move this one outside um one good thing that happened is i basically applied the bare advanced bug spray in the water trays for all three of these pots and you know over here we have the sweet potato and over here we have the honeydew and the very next day I didn't see any more fungus gnats so maybe we don't even need sand anymore but you know I'd still like to put some sand in all the pots uh, I think this looks good okay it's day 70 of my ginger germination experiment so as you can see, they're doing pretty well. They've recovered from that drought stage, essentially. And, you know, they just keep getting taller and taller at a very slow rate. So there's not really much to describe here. They just keep on growing. So during the drought phase, uh, some of the new leaves that were coming out were dying. And here's a good example. I'm just going to remove that. So pretty soon you won't even be able to tell that there's a dead leaf there. So I've been topping this off with water. And you can see a drowned fungus gnat in there. I haven't had a bug problem indoors ever since I moved these plants outdoors. So I have six plants now and I was expecting more. I've been watering continuously so any buds that are still growing should be able to germinate. There should be 
quite a few more than just six eventually.